This is a tutorial on a fast, easy, and an inexpensive way to add a towing harness to your 2005 to 2006 Honda Element. So, inspecting the wheel well, your Element may have come with the factory plug for the towing harness, but we are going to bypass this entirely today since the factory controller is very, very expensive and somewhat hard to find now. So we're not going to use this at all. We're going to switch to this type of harness uh, leading from the front. So the first thing we'll want to remove is this side panel right here, the door panel. It doesn't have any screws or anything. It's just held in by push pins. So it's pretty easy to pry up with your hands. If not, you can use a screwdriver, but be careful because there is there are some wires in there. So we're just going to remove this. And there you can see our exposed trailer harness for the install. So basically what we're doing is replacing the factory harness with a Kurt controller. So what I did was hide the uh, Kurt controller in this area. This is also pretty easy to remove. There's no pins or anything. So you just kind of pry it from there and push it to the side. You don't have to take it completely off. So here's the controller, the new controller. All right, so we'll start with the front. Here's a new Kurt controller. 55336 is the code on this one. It's a universal controller for many cars, but it does have the correct plug to go into the harness. So this connection, the white one on the left hand side up inside your uh, pedal area is where you want to connect it to. It should just be dangling there. All the 2005 to 2006 elements should have this plug. So just find that, plug in the Kurt controller. So I plugged in the Kurt controller to there, mounted it here, just free floating. It doesn't really jostle around or anything because it's pretty uh, snug inside there with that foam. And then I ran the cable down the side and then we have our extension right here. The extension I got from Harbor Freight, so it's pretty inexpensive, but the Kurt uh, comes down to here and then we just extend it from there. You can probably go into this area to hide the cables better, but I just went around into the uh, wheel well area because I usually don't have passengers or anything, so it worked well for me and it's super easy. Starting again from front to back. So up in here, left hand side of the driver's compartment white plug should be uh, visible as soon as you open this area up lead that to the controller and then I ran the cable all the way down extension and then you can like choose your own adventure for the extension you can either go into this area, take this panel off and make it nice and clean, or you just run it all the way to the back. Or you can unplug the extension when you're not running a, running a trailer and uh, plug it in whenever you need it. So following the cable from the driver's side rear door, here we are following the cable and here's the end. We could just stick this out, of, out into the trunk area anytime we want, or we could shove it in the wheel well. So there we go. Here it is completed. Can't even see it from this side, so we're going down. It's all tucked under this panel. It does come out here, which you can hide away a little bit better. Let's go around. And then our harness should be right there, going into the wheel well. 
super easy, very inexpensive compared to the factory harness.